So today we're going to fix one of the problems on this uh, Ford Explorer is uh, the front sway bars. Let's get this thing jacked up and take off the front wheels. So now we have the car jacked up on the jack stands, so there is uh, no weight left on the front tyres. What we now needed to do, remove the hubcap, remove the tyre and uh, have a look what's underneath. Let's do that. Okay, so we've got... Uh, right side off, let's take off the left side. Okay, so now with both front wheels off, both left and right, we're going to get up underneath uh, the right hand side first and uh, see what we can see. Just so that the camera can see, and you guys can uh, have a good squeeze. I brought my trusty torches. But these are the things that we'll be replacing. They're the uh, front sway bars, left and right. So, let's go have a look up underneath. Okay, so, right here, this is the top of the front sway bar. It's, and the bottom of it is just down here. As you can see, all the rubber has completely worn off this thing, so it makes a nice jingly noise as I drive along. Um, it also uh, inhibits the stabilization of the vehicle. So what we're going to do is we're going to undo the undo the bottom part of the bolt, and this should slip straight out. So let's do it. Nut just needed a little bit of persuading uh, with a bit of um, three in one silicon spray which uh, allowed us to remove the bottom nut because it was being a bit of a pain in the ass held in place with the multi grips on top now what we're going to do is we're going to slip the old one out and the washer okay you're slipping the new one in And the last two bits of rubber go on the bottom. So, replacing the front right hand uh, sway bar on a 1998 Ford Explorer. This is the one that uh, I removed. As you can see, there's no rubber bits left at the top or the bottom. Just this lovely little bit in the middle that was just holding it in place. This is what uh, was replaced into there. Hell of a lot of difference going on right there. Oops, over the way around. So, all the rubbers on both parts here had both had completely decayed. So we now have the uh, the new uh, sway bar on the front right. So let's jump around to the uh, left hand side 
and do that one too. So, there's the top of the left hand. As you can see, this one still has a little bit of rubber on it, and the bottom still has a little bit, but the underside of that, it's all gone. So what we're gonna do here, is uh, we're gonna take this out and replace it with a brand new one. That was uh, replacing the front left and right sway bars on a 1998 Ford Explorer. That is uh, our left hand side and that is our right hand side. That's what was left uh, after uh, we pulled them out. Um, I'll take some photographs of the under uh, underside um, that you can see where we've replaced it in. Uh, it's as easy as uh, slipping in the bolts and uh, tightening them up underneath. Uh, the front sway bars on our 1998 Ford Explorer, we've now got to put our wheels back on. So, let's fast forward. Now we always do the last part of the tightening while the car is actually on the ground, so we uh, don't have the wheel, as you can see, pre-spinning while we're trying to lock the lock nuts. both uh, wheels on, tight, but not tightened. We now need to uh, drop this thing off the uh, jack stand. So, let's lower it. So, that's all done. Remember, if you've uh, liked any of the uh, work that I've been doing on the car, give us a big thumbs up. Don't forget, uh, if you've got any questions or comments, or any uh, tips on anything I can do better, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to uh, see more of these kind of videos and lots of others. And uh, remember, see you in the next video.